Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. This is the Body Beatdown. Michael, your incredible host of this incredible channel, and it's incredible because of people like you that watch, okay? Also, leave comments. Get involved in the community. Let's build a big, happy, awesome, supportive community, guys. There's not a lot of them on YouTube that are real and from the heart. Let's make this channel real from the heart for real people like us. Today, as you can tell, it's going to be leg day. Also, you might be able to tell, I'm going to do bench squats. Now, I haven't done bench squats since 2010. And also, I'm still nursing uh, kind of uh, my back from the past week, the past 25 years. But the past week has uh, proven a little struggle for me. So, I'm going to do some bench squats and see how these go. Now, my bench is not low. It's a, it's 21 inches from the floor to the top of the pad. So I'm not going to be going deep with these, and I couldn't go deep with them anyway. That's what she said. So let's try and get some of these done and uh, just kind of give you a demonstration. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now again, I have bad shoulders, so it's not easy for me to hold this bar back here, but I'll do the best I can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anyway, there you go. So we got 10 reps. It felt pretty good. Now I'm not going to be going heavy, guys, because again, I am nursing my back still a little bit. My back was feeling uh, better this morning, but like an idiot, I came in here and I did some flat benching and I put my feet down on the ground. And if you follow my videos, you know this bench is way too high. If I put my feet down on the ground, it stretches my back out, the exact part of my lower back that's screwed up. So it kind of aggravated a little bit. And I knew I was going to do it, but I'm stupid. So I admit it. I'm stupid. I can't help it. So we got 10 reps of that. Now I'm not going to do a whole bunch of video on this. Uh, once you've seen a, a few reps of this, you see how it is. Uh, I feel like my form is decent on it. And again, I'm not going to go heavy, uh, not just for my back, but my shoulders. It's just too hard for me to reach back and hold that bar. So that's just another option for you uh, on your squats to do a bench squat. And uh, you might have a lower bench. You might have a stool or something like that, a ploy box, a pilot box, whatever those things are called that uh, some people jump on. They make some low ones. Uh, you might have something like that as well. And uh, it's a pretty good method for doing squats and giving your brain kind of a place to connect to. Because uh, some of us, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you're kind of lost in that movement and you're not exactly sure, you know, what your limits are. And uh, I know some people will say just uh, go ATG, uh, booty to ground. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I can't do that. But, uh, and it just gives you a place to connect to. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do uh, four more sets of some squats. I don't know what I'll go up to. Not heavy, of course. 
But uh, we'll see what we do. If I get another video, that's great. If not, then uh, uh, we'll move on to another exercise. Of course, you know I'm going to hit the hack press, and uh, I'll figure something out. So anyway, stick around, guys, if you care to. So as you can maybe see, I put a 35 on. That breaks us the 200-pound mark. We're at 205. All right, that was 205. That felt pretty good, guys. There's one thing I can tell you. Uh, I got on my other shoes today. Uh, normally, I wear my other shoes, and they're completely worn out. And they might as well just be, like, flat converse or almost barefoot. These, on the other hand, are like Herman Munster kind of shoes with kind of a thicker sole. I don't like them. But I do like it's getting me up a little higher on the bar and it's a little easier for me to get off the rack. And uh, yeah. Also, I want to add that a good thing about uh, doing bench squats is it not only gives you a spot to aim for mentally and physically, but it can also help ease the tension on your back. It can ease the tension on your whole body for just that split second. As you hit the bench and then come back up, you're getting that slight little rest. Almost like if you're doing a rack pull or a rack uh, deadlift or something. It kind of gives you that moment of, uh, you know, letting the body rest for even a split second. So that's always nice uh, to do if you need it. So anyway, I'm going to do a couple more sets of this and uh, we're going to move on. All right, guys, another good workout in the books. I uh, did a nice leg hack squat, got up there nice and heavy, uh, decent sets. You see my workout here. Uh, of course, the bench squats, I feel good about doing those. Uh, those always make you feel pretty good. So I had a good workout, feel good. Uh, the back is still on the man. It's going to be on the man for the rest of my life. It's just something you got to get used to. But I like to bring it to your attention because it, it helps you to see that you can keep going even when you have uh, physical and mental type problems. So you can keep going, guys. It's just a matter of how much do you want it. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down, where we beat this body down sometimes when we shouldn't. What we do anyways. Got my supper going. I'm gonna have a little piece of ham, little piece. I got some chicken that I've been boiling. I got 
Brussels sprouts and a little bit of rice. Nice, healthy meal. Get that ate and feel good. All right, make sure you get yourself healthy inside and out. Okay? Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. See ya. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!